Hey, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you um, an issue for a variable speed motor. Basically a symptom of failure. I've got the fan calling, fan mode. And I'm just gonna replace it today as well. So you can hear it. See it trying to spin as well. Got the power cut. Let's go ahead and start taking this board out. those two screws out see if we can access I've already gone through the process, the procedures, um, troubleshooting. You know the heart and all the components and things, so you definitely verify that it's the motor. But I just wanted to show you the sound it makes. It may fail sometimes, not all the times, but one of the symptoms. I'm crazy. It's just a regular it's just a regular damn man. Uh, Five sixteens. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, so you got your set screw, got that loose. Alright. Three eighths. give it a little bit of a boost WD-40 Good. What you want to do is simply thread this back here, center shaft. It's going to line up with your shaft in the motor. Thread it all the way back. Thing so stubborn. And it's dead. things in there so stubborn.
I like to use the big wrench for tightening set screws, just put a decent amount of torque on it. Gorgeous. Nice even spin. A little more torque on the set screw. Done. High voltage. And low voltage. This is gonna have to come off of here. I don't know, I'm cutting the hell out of my cell. are made. Beautiful. That's how it's supposed to sound. Yeah, you're ready to rock now. Yeah. Pulling that nice cool air over me too. That's how I replace a variable speed motor. Alright, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.